Hello everyone, this is Jeremy from Duster3D. Duster3D is a quick 3D modeling software. This week, I have released Beta 19 and I'm planning for the final stable release. I think it's pretty close. Okay, let's see what happened during this week. Firstly, CG modeler from Coca Labs posted a suggestion about a Wacom tablet support. Thanks for the suggestion. Support a Wacom tablet and the Cintiq are really quite idea. Good, good idea. I know many artists are using them. However, I don't have these devices on my hand and uh, currently I'm focused on preparing the stable version. So let's see if there are other developers interested and maybe make some pull requests for the configurable shortcuts. I don't know if it's a good idea or what do you guys think? Secondly, um, EBI Games uh, asked about how I started this software and if there are some books or YouTube channels he can follow. Thanks for asking. I wrote a blog post uh, before I explained how I started this project from scratch. If you are interested, please check the link in the description. Duster 3D is quite new, but you can always check the documents here. It's a bit, little bit outdated, but it will be updated before the stable version being released. And if you want to write something or update it, the or update the outdated content, please do so. Make a pull request from here. In the beta 19, thanks to thanks to a cube cubidem, I have made the three nodes branch disabled by default, so you can have less chance to encounter the safe intersection problem. Please check the change logs from my Twitter link in the description. Thirdly, Duster 3D now supports multiple languages. I have added the simplified Chinese. If you want to support your language for Duster 3D, please leave a comment. There are some interesting comments for, from my tweet friends, Toshio and uh, Naivete. Please check my Twitter link in the description. Beside the language support, I fixed the crash. I have hit this issue at least uh, twice. The sort algorithm coming from the C++ standard library need to be used very carefully. The third parameter is the function you need to provide to compare two items. You can only return true if the condition is true, such as the first item less than the second. If the first item equal to the second and you return true, that would be a serious problem. Luckily, you got crushed. And luckily, some weird memory issues will come as a nightmare. That's why I did some experiment with Rust language before. But considering the productivity, I still fall back to C++. There are sometimes weird memory issues, but if you already have a well-programmed code base, if something happened, you know what could be the problem, and you can fix it very quickly, such as the STD sort problem. Lastly, I have an idea because I make more every day, and I'm really curious what could be the difference of the modes made by different software or the same software, but from different person based on the same reference picture. So I'm going to post my reference picture one day before I post my mode. If you are interested or you know someone may be interested, please check my Twitter link in the description. You can use the tweet hashtag TeamDust3D is Bear Cartridge suggested so I can find you. Okay, this is the week. How is your week? Are you making your game?
any programming issues or game development issues you want to share with us, please leave comments below. And if you like the software, please click the subscribe and the like button. Thank you all. See you next time.